So throughout my college education, I went to a number of different institutions. I got credits in a lot of different ways. And so I kind of wanted to talk about that a little bit um, in case folks are thinking about going to specific schools or trying different educational opportunities. I, this might be interesting to you, I guess. So um, I started out um, in high school. They offered post-secondary classes. So that was, um, it was um, college credits for classes you were taking in high school. Um, they had college professors grading your, your work um, and they would come in maybe once or twice a semester. Um, otherwise it was just your normal English professor uh, or your English teacher, sorry, we didn't call them professors in high school. Um, but it was your, your average, you were in the same environment you were in um, for the most part. Um, and it was, it was a nice kind of segue into college work because it felt like high school it was very comfortable. Um, you got to have a sense of, you know, the, the workload, but not really because it was still essentially high school. Um, and I think that made potentially college less intimidating than it might have been otherwise. I know I had a very smooth transition into college. Um, so I, um, I went from the post-secondary education at the high school. I, I took just two or three classes. Some people go full immersion and are on the college campus um, in high school already. And I, I did not go that way. It was just, um, it was just high school college classes, essentially. Um, but my transition was smooth. I went to a private school the next day over, and I, there was a little bit of homesickness. Um, but otherwise, um, I uh, fell in love with the coursework. I loved doing it. Um, I, uh, I very much enjoyed my first college experience. It was a little too expensive, though. Um, so I did end up transferring to another private institution. Um, they were both very small. So um, it was very cozy, um, just, and it, I just kind of stayed on campus, loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, it was, it was nice. It was easy. It was uh, in my, within my comfort zone because it was small and that was very, very nice. So um, the second private institution I went to also loved, um, it was a little bit bigger. So that was a step up, I think, in terms of, you know, that sort of adulting, um, fully enjoyed it, would recommend. Um, then I, that didn't pan out though in the long run. Um, so I ended up taking some time off and then I actually went to a small public institution and I loved that one as well. Um, once I started paying off my student loans and taking on more of the financials, I realized how great that public institution was because it was so small. It was still, you know, it still felt safe and it still had a myriad of classes. Um, I was in state. So that, um, the, the numbers, the financials really, really were fantastic at the public institution. And I kind of realized that that would be a great outlet, a great way to go for those. Um, I, I do think that I would like to try um, some some community college classes as well, because I know those are affordable too. Um, and I think that they are also um, applicable to a lot of different um just career paths right off the bat. I think a lot of those are geared towards specific careers. And I think that that is a phenomenal thing. Um, and I've got all my generals done and taken care of, of course, um, you know, at the higher, you know, at the private institutions. Um, and um, so I think that moving into a technical college or community college um, would be very fun. A lot of cool things could be learned in that environment. I haven't done it really yet, so that might be on the horizon. But um, I did also kind of want to talk about um, about um, the difference between like online classes and in-person classes, because I do think that um, I, I completely loved my in-person classes. Um, I loved that it was in a different environment. It kind of pushes your comfort levels a little bit. It pushes um, your comfort zone. Um, you are able to establish yourself outside of your home in um, kind of a really, really good way. And I think that's great. Um, I think that um, being out and finding yourself in a, a new space is very important. Um, and 
it kind of helped you grow into a more full, fully formed adult. So um, would recommend getting out, then being in person, um, moving out. I think living on campus was a great transition too, especially right out the gate, um, right after high school. Um, living on campus was nice because it was a, more of a controlled environment um, and you didn't necessarily have to worry about some of those financial things quite, quite yet, quite off the bat. Um, and then I did end up transitioning to living off campus, which I also loved. And that was definitely more, um, more responsibility. Um, but I liked that having that transition. So it wasn't just all that responsibility right away. I think that was really, really nice. I will say that my transition um, into adulthood, um, going from high school to the private institution, kind of cushioned, um, to and staying on campus to a in a public school and living off campus, it was a very slow, safe progression. And I did feel like I was being kind of held back too, in that um, I was expected to have more life experience than I did. Um, I was I should have known more about financial things um, earlier. I but I do think that the way they did it, the way I did it, um, made sure that the emphasis was on education and was on. Um, building those values and building uh, knowledge base. Um, uh, however, I think that having a little more of that practicality of the financial side of things um, would have made me feel a little more even keeled um, with people in my age range. Um, so to a certain extent, um, after college, um, b because I, I um, was in the private institution and I wasn't paying for anything. I was kind of a little bit, I'd say thrown to the wolves because then I did have to join the real world and I wasn't really sure how to do that. Um, so I think I didn't have a job, uh, like a full-time job before college. I was working at a Girl Scout camp in the summers. Um, but I think that um, I did not know as much about real life processes and the real life systems. Um, and I think that I probably should have built that up a little bit more. Um, I didn't have that autonomy. I didn't have resources to expend. And so I did not um, learn about managing resources until after college um, and, you know, after the private institutions. And I feel like um, that probably would have been an asset to me in my education as well as in my um, friend group in my, um, social growth. Um, so, uh, I think that that would be definitely an important element. And I, I, I did it to myself, you know, my folks did say you should get a job. Um, but, uh, I said, I don't know if I can handle it at the same time as school. And, um, and I just, I didn't get a job, um, while I was in school. And I think that it would have been beneficial to me if I had. So, uh, again, that's on me. That was something that I should have done. And I, um, didn't think on it and I took it for granted and I think it would have been an asset to me. It obviously, you know, I, I was a late bloomer. So, um, so it's one of those things you just never know how it could have changed things. And, um, it is what it is now. It doesn't matter. Um, I did get that learning in, so that's, what's important, but, um, I will say there is something to be said for, um, all the different institutions I went to, um, the private and the public did have a very, um, uh, similar, vibe because they were both small. Um, and the public one was very much more affordable. So I did kind of land on that one as being a, a good opportunity. Um, now I would also like to do more of the community ed and, or, well, I did do some community ed. It was very fun, actually. That's, that's, um, not, that's completely different from community college, but, um, like doing community ed in the community was very fun. I also got some certifications with like the American Red Cross and uh, CNA, and those were also great opportunities. I would recommend those as well because you can further education without having to subscribe, you know, and say, you're taking two years of my life. You're taking four years of my life. Um, there's a lot of cool programs out there that are shorter and, um, they get you a lot of information very quickly and then you can just jump right in and I highly recommend those as well. So, um, that's how I got my PCA. That's how I got my CNA, just jumped right in, got some experience in. So, I uh, would recommend those too. Hoping to get my food service just like that. It's a very easy course. Um, I did take it pre previously, um, but I didn't get the, uh, the certification. I didn't finish the, the proctored exam, unfortunately. Um, but you have to re-up those anyway, um, I think every two years. So, um, so otherwise, definitely recommend those if you want some uh, quick education that's very practical, very easy to use pretty much immediately, uh, healthcare and 
things like that are always in demand. So would recommend those too. Uh, but otherwise, um, I feel like going to the institutions allowed me to uh, learn about philosophy and get a lot of those fundamentals, uh, the psychology, the group atmosphere, the interactions, uh, the scheduling, and um, things like that. 